Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. This video is going to go on the fitness and nutrition playlist. So, I recently turned 48 years old. That's right, I'm almost 50. But I believe that you're only as old or as young as your body and your mind can perform. Now later in the video we do have some free weights out in the driveway. Okay, but... This part of the video, you know, I started with calisthenics, with pull-ups and so forth, because I, I knew they worked for the military, right? Pull-ups, push-ups, you, you know that works. It works for the Marines. And from calisthenics, I got into some of the gymnastics stuff. Now, those are my TDS brand parallel bars. They are so worth the price. I will include a link to those below the video. But... I started looking into gymnastics. That's a that's what I call a hang stand. Right? That's very good for the lower back. Right? And it's not as easy as you might think to straighten up like that in the hang stand. That's a pike and it rotates to a hanging L sit. So I looked into gymnastics and uh, I found a lot of YouTube videos that were like uh, why are gymnasts so buff? Why are there shoulders so good? Why are their biceps so good? Well, I can tell you why their shoulders are so good because I learned this as, as soon as I started borrowing techniques, workout techniques from the gymnasts. Uh, their shoulders are good because every fucking thing they do has to, uh, makes their shoulders flex to uh, hold themselves up, whether they're, they're hanging or whether you're holding yourself up with like uh, the way you would if you are at the top of a tricep dip, right? So that's a hang stand going into pike, a hanging L sit. When you hang from the bars like that, you are using them like gymnast rings, right? Of course, you can also use those bars. If it was tricep day, I would use them for some good old tricep dips and some L sits. But today was not tricep day. Today was core and shoulders. It's also very good for your forearms. If you were to try some of these techniques without any uh, prior exercise training, you would probably not be able to hold your legs up because it requires a certain minimum of core strength. Here are some L sit pull ups. All right, let's just go over all of fitness in a nutshell. If you want to lose body fat, you need to be in a caloric deficit. It also helps to reduce your insulin levels, but things like fasting will do both. If you want to build muscle, you need to do uh, what's called progressive overload. You can look that up. And if you want to fix your diet, look, for most people, the best diet would be uh, a lot of healthy, low-calorie, high-fiber vegetables and some relatively lean Protein. Okay, in the driveway, some free weights, as promised. But the problem is uh, health and nutrition, it's simple, but it's not easy because it's all about the execution. So, you know, that summary that I gave you, you can learn the rules in five minutes, but that doesn't mean you're going to be able to actually execute. Right? It's kind of like playing chess. I can teach you the rules of chess in five minutes, but how long is it going to take you to become a grandmaster at chess? Well, most people just never will, even if they know the rules. And you can know all the fitness rules if your execution of, of them is not consistent and uh, tenacious. It's not going to do you much good. You know, one thing I've had to accept is that when I see someone that's like a lot buffer and just healthier than me and ripped and uh, strong. That person, assuming they're not on, on augmentation, if it's natural, it's likely because they're working out with like three times the intensity that I do and probably eating about half what I eat, right? And that's true for me and uh, it's probably true for you as well. Some other things you should know, I never eat fast food ever. I do engage in running for cardiovascular health and to help reduce body fat. And I also engage in intermittent fasting. I also try to lift heavy, 
Now this part that I filmed, this was just the end. This is just a finishing exercise, which I use a lighter weight on the finishing exercise. But for the bulk of the routine, I try to uh, go as heavy as I can. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you good luck on your health and fitness journey.